Welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. This video is going to take you out for a walk on the beach and check out the seaweed situation. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Just for context, we have a map here. I've already circled a section on the beach here, and this is where I normally do my walk at the end of Avenue Constituente. But today I'm gonna to head up to this section right here. This is Playa Coco Beach, or just Coco Beach, uh, around 50th Ave. Let's go for a walk, here we go. Good afternoon from Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Another beautiful day here. And uh, you can see the seaweed. This is at 50th Street, otherwise known as Playa Coco Beach or just Coco Beach. And it smells today and it's because of the seaweed. You've got some beautiful huts off to the left here. It's a beautiful part of the beach to be on, but it stinks right now because of this seaweed area here. Now, why haven't the workers gotten to this part of the beach the problem is it's very difficult to get the big tractors in here and this is fermented this is probably about two days old and that's why it stinks and it's not good for uh, people that are staying uh, in these cabanas to the left and you haven't got a lot of people on the beach here because it stinks it's as simple as that but we're going to get up to an area here where you're going to see that there's no seaweed on the beach and that's because uh, the workers have obviously gotten to it this morning. This is the middle of the afternoon, but they didn't get to this section right here because they can't get the big machinery in here, the tractors and stuff, because there's so little of the beach. They can't go back and forth. Water looks fairly good today, a, bit, a little bit cloudy, but now you're gonna see, boom, the beach. There is no seaweed, okay, because they got the tractors in here early in the morning and now, if you came out here in the afternoon, you would not even know there was a seaweed situation. You can see a lot more people on the beach here because it doesn't stink because the seaweed isn't here. Direct correlation. If it's going to stink, people aren't going to be on the beach. There's no seaweed here. There's no stink. You got a whack of people on the beach. This is Playa Coco Beach, Coco Beach, and a well-known beach. This is kind of north of where I normally walk and people just asked me to walk up here around 50th and you can see you'd be oblivious to a seaweed situation if you came out and you walked on this part of the beach look at these people this beach is gorgeous it's because it's been cleaned up and the workers have been working very hard now i'm going to stop talking here for a second and i'm going to read you the latest article they have declared seaweed season open I'm gonna read a little article here from the paper. Here we go. This is an article from the Riviera Maya News, a newspaper with the major headlines. The headline is, authorities officially declare 2024 Riviera Maya sargasm season operational. The Secretary of the Navy in charge of sargasm monitoring and collection has officially declared the season open. Naval personnel based in Isla Mujeres has declared the 2024 sargasm care season started. The Mexican Navy, along with state and municipal authorities, will begin work to address the annual arrival of sargasm along the state's coast. Quote, we begin the 2024 sargasm care season in the state of Quintana Roo. At the moment, we are reviewing and installing anchors for the deployment of barriers in Puerto Morales, Playa del Carmen, and Tulum where this year we will install a total of 8,650 meters of containment barrier. Since the closing of the 2023 sargasm season, work has been carried out on preventative and corrective maintenance of the infrastructure used for this purpose. Due to the above, the Navy will deploy 11 coastal sargasm vessels throughout this season, which will be distributed in the municipalities for the recovery of sargasm. In turn, 22 smaller support vessels will be deployed together with an oceanic sargasm ship, which is expected to arrive on the coast of the state in the last week of March. 
As part of the preparation for the start of the 2024 season, Naval personnel are reviewing and installing anchors for the deployment of containment barriers in Puerto Morales, Playa del Carmen, and Tulum. As in previous years, this institution will deploy 340 elements who will support all the aforementioned actions, including technical, scientific personnel who will monitor the behavior of this microalgae, operators of sargassum vessels and smaller vessels, barrier containment operators, as well as personnel deployed on site to attend to infrastructure maintenance needs throughout the season. As part of the collection on beaches, the municipalities of Cancun, Isla Mujeres, Puerto Morales, Cozumel, Playa del Carmen, and Tulum will be attending to the arrival of sargassum using machinery such as sweepers, amphibious belts, compact loaders, and vehicles for transporting sargassum. In their statement, the Marine Secretary also said that constant attention to the sargassum prioritizes the commitment to keeping beaches clean which contributes to a clean marine environment. So there is the latest information. That's from the Riviera newspaper. It looks like all up and down the coast here, they are installing barriers. I think they said 8,650 uh, meters of it. So it's eight and a half kilometers up and down in probably certain areas in order to really minimize that seaweed coming in and bothering the beaches which in turn helps out tourism. So since 2023 seaweed situation, they've installed these anchors and they are about to put these barriers in place. They also have these amphibious boats that pick this seaweed up out at sea before it comes into the beach. And look at the beach right there. We have minimal seaweed here. So it's gonna be laid out. They said the last week in March that's right now. So I think they officially said that uh, seaweed season starts April 1st. So everything this week is supposedly being put in place. The barriers, these uh, amphibious um, boats out there that are picking up the seaweed out at sea before it comes in uh, to the beach. A number of people have been asking me the last few months, what's it gonna be like in April? What's it gonna be like in May? Now it looks like they really have their act together. They are, have a number of layers of uh, ways to alleviate the seaweed coming into the beach here. So they've got the barriers out there. They've got the boats picking it up. They've also, in conjunction with all these people on the beach here, you can see the rake marks on the left there. They've already been out. They're already cleaning it up. So it seems like we've got three or four levels um, that the seaweed has to go through in order to get to this beach here. Now, usually when I walk up to this area, this is where all the um, scuba divers come out. It's usually a little bit worse in this kind of section here. And I don't know why the seaweed seems to kind of pool in this area. And you can see it in the water there, just kind of laying there. And it's been like that for maybe the last two or three months. And I don't know why that is, but you have the information now. So if you are thinking about coming down here in April, May or June or throughout the summer, I am gonna be here for maybe another month or so and I am really looking forward to seeing how these preventative measures work to see if they really minimize the seaweed coming in. So I'm gonna be on the ground here checking this out. We still have this as another level of uh, layer of people cleaning up the beaches here. If the seaweed does make it through the barriers, past those amphibious um, boats that are picking up the seaweed out there. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be here checking it out and uh, you know, come back every Wednesday or Saturday. I will be still putting videos on. I'm going to check it out for a little while longer. You can see the pooling of the seaweed in there, right? And this is where it usually kind of gets bad with uh, the scuba diver shop right here. Anyways, we've got something to look forward to. It looks like they're really pulling out all the stops. They're really trying to keep this uh, beach beautiful. So I'm just going to say thanks for coming along on the walk with me. Looking forward to the next month or so and checking this out. I'm going to say ciao for now. We've got something to look forward to.